This is Bob's cat. And this is his rat. Obviously, they do not get along. That's because the cat sees the rat as its prey. They are from different animal groups. No, this elephant does not belong to Bob, but it belongs to a different group than the cat or the rat. In biology, we call this classification. It is the arrangement or grouping of organisms based on their similarities and differences. The mouse and rat are more alike than any of the other animals. And even though the lion is big and scary, it shares similarities to the cat. But it's not just animals that are classified into groups. Every living organism can be classified into different groups and families. Classification can also be called taxonomy, which is a more scientific term. Let's take Bob to the zoo to teach him more about classification. Here, the animals are divided into birds, large cats and apes. But even within each group, there are small differences between the animals. Even though they all belong to the bird family, they can be further classified into smaller groups. This means the classification is hierarchical, meaning that larger groups can be divided into smaller groups. We classify organisms based on their similarities and differences. If you examine the leaves of these trees, you will see differences in their structure. Even though they are both plants, they can be further divided into smaller groups based on their structure. And the same goes for insects, sea animals and even bacteria. Before we leave the zoo, I have to teach you one more important thing. This is an anaconda, a type of boa that lives in South America. It is one of the largest snakes in the world. The word anaconda is what we call this snake's common name. In biology, we use scientific names for organisms as well. The scientific name for anaconda is Eunectes marinus. The first part of the name, Eunectes, is the genus of the organism. And the second part of the name, Eurinus, is the species of the organism. To put it simply, first you get the snake family. Within that family, there is a group of genus of what we call boas. These are snakes that share similar qualities, like the ability to strangle their prey. And within the genus of boas is the species called marinus, which is the anaconda. So even though the anaconda is a boa, it has certain qualities that make it different from other boas, which is why it is also divided into a species of its own. Does that make sense to you, Bob? Shall we do an example of sharks? <laughs> Classification is an important part of biology because knowing the name of a particular organism gives you immediate access to all the known information about that particular class or group. The scientific names used for classification helps us to understand the behaviour and attributes of different organisms. Classification is a lot like a zoo. Just like you would not put zebras and gazelles into the same exhibit as lions, you would not put them into the same groups or families. Now that you know the basics of classification, we can look at it further in the next lesson. Until then, see if you and your classmates can classify the living organisms around you into different groups based on their similarities and differences.